Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Rock Shocks has entered the thick boy market with an all new fork, ready to smash through whatever's in your way. This is the Rock Shock Zeb. What is it and who is it for? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Two thousand twenty is the year of COVID nineteen, murder hornets, video conferences from your bedroom in your underwear, and thick forks meant for aggressive riding with larger diameter stanchions to create a more stiff and burly suspension setup. For years, the Rock Shocks Lyric has been a staple in the mountain bike community as a fork that's plush, reliable, and stiff. But with riding becoming more and more aggressive over the years, and longer travel bikes becoming more efficient to pedal uphill and therefore more popular. Forks on the front of bikes are trying to keep up with the paces they're being put through. Just recently, Fox released their 38 with 38 millimeter stanchions, which feels nearly identical to the stiffness of a dual crown downhill fork. And now, RockShox has their foot in the door. Hello? Yes? I present to you the RockShox Zeb. The Zeb has 38 millimeter stanchions and a purpose-built chassis adding stiffness in all the right places. It uses the tried and true RockShox Charger 2.1 RC2 damper and Debonair air spring. RockShox has bumped the travel knob up to 11. You're on 10 on your guitar. Where can you go from there? Where? I don't know. Nowhere, exactly. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Uh, put it up to 11. 11, exactly. One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. And offers travel from 150 all the way up to 190 millimeters. Plus, it just looks damn good with a beefy chassis design and comes in two colors to make mostly everyone happy. All right, let's take a closer look at how this fork works. In a nutshell, the Zeb is the burlier big brother of the Lyric. The Lyric has 35 millimeter stanchions, while the Zeb has bigger 38 millimeter stanchions. Plus, the chassis were designed differently from the Lyric to take on more aggressive riding and longer travel applications. All in all, the Zeb is a single crown fork for aggressive riding, bridging the gap between the Lyric and the downhill dual crown boxer. All right, so what is with the name? What the heck is a Zeb? Well. The Rock Shocks Global Design Center is located in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and right around the corner is a tiny little mountain called Pike's Peak. Back in 1806, a man by the name of Zebulon Pike, by the way, that is a sick name, was the first person who attempted to summit that mountain. Does that last name Pike sound familiar to you? Well, his first name shortened is Zeb, and they named this fork after him. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I wanted to say that after popping a Zeb on my bike, I could immediately tell the difference in stiffness. Now, I will admit that some quote unquote upgrades may not give you that immediate satisfaction that you actually made an improvement to your bike, but I'm serious, this is something that I did immediately tell a difference from. My front end plowed straight through holes, my steering felt more precise, and I could hold my line better with more stability. Now, why could I feel an immediate difference? Well, overall, RockShox's goal was not to build the stiffest fork they possibly could, but more so a fork with a balance between stiffness, weight, control, and sensitivity. The goal was to add more stiffness in the right spots to increase performance without making the fork so stiff that it rattles your bones and tore your hands off of your arms. So let's take a look at some numbers. Compared to the Lyric, the Zeb is 21.5% more torsionally stiff, 7% more laterally stiff, and 2% more fore aft stiff. So obviously, this fork offers tons of increased stiffness torsionally, which is basically the fork's resistance to twisting. This will be most applicable during cornering to give your front end a more precise chassis rigidity when turning. 
plus the lateral and fore aft stiffness doesn't seem like a big change, but still, all three of those improvements combined makes a big difference on the trail. Now up top, you'll find the all-new purpose-built aluminum crown, which looks awesome with its burly design, which was carefully machined to make it nice and lightweight. And threaded into that crown is the tried and true Charger 2.1 RC2 damper with lots of adjustments and the same damping characteristics of the Lyric damper. You can independently adjust the high and low speed compression up top and the rebound on the bottom. The Zeb's wheel arch is freaking meaty for that torsional stiffness, which looks awesome and has a bolt-on fender mount on the back. Rock Shocks will offer a bolt-on mudguard for 20 bucks, which I wasn't able to get for this video, but I wish I did because it is really, really muddy out today. And said wheel arch offers more clearance for larger tires up to 2.8s and more mud clearance and it's positioned a bit more forward to clear larger head tubes and bikes with reach adjust headsets. And another familiar face lies within the airside stanchion back there, which is the Debonair Airspring. And that of course is designed to ride high in its travel while still maintaining crazy small bump sensitivity and just the right amount of mid-stroke support. The Zeb's Debonair Airspring was built off the most recent revision of the Pike and Lyric Debonair, but with a bit more negative air volume to give it more of a downhill fork feeling. And of course, you can adjust the bottom out resistance with tokens under the air cap using the same gray tokens as the Lyric. The Zeb uses Maxima plush oil and SKF dust wipers to decrease friction as much as possible. And one other cool feature is the post mount 200 rotor mount so that you don't need an adapter for a 200 millimeter rotor and a 203 rotor will just need little small spacers. All right, so there's the rundown on the brand new Zeb. But just a bit ago, I mentioned a little tidbit about how the Zeb rides, but I think that we should dive a bit deeper back on that subject. So let's talk about how the Zeb rides. God. Now right off the bat on my first ride with the Zeb, I did notice an immediate increase in stiffness and support. Just in the first few bumps and holes, I noticed the front end felt more planted. The further I got into my ride, the more I felt like I wanted to push the Zeb. Now, I've spent a bunch of time in the Lyric, and while it isn't exactly a flexy noodle of a fork, and is still plenty stiff for most riders in situations, I always felt like there were situations I would avoid. I would often avoid taking lines with specific size holes and aim at riding around them, but when you get bumped off the line and ride through said holes, you'd have an oh sh moment. Now with the Zeb, I feel more stable through rough sections and overall feel more confident riding fast with the ability to smash through whatever is in front of me. I would look for a smooth line a little less, and if I did get bumped over into the rougher line, I could just ride it out and didn't feel uncomfortable given the situation. On jumps, that was really fun. I was actually just over jumping landings on purpose, landing to flat to see what this thing could do. And with a fork like the Lyric, you could land to flat and of course ride it out, but it would be pretty jarring and you'd get a bit of huck neck. But with the Zeb, it made it feel like I was an airplane like landing on a runway with like total control and stability with less of that head buck riding away more smooth and controlled. The farther down the trail I got, the more aggressive I was riding, and the more I wanted to continuously push and ride even more aggressively. Overall, the Zeb is a bit more confidence inspiring on rough terrain when compared to the Lyric, and begs to be pushed harder and harder. Tuning the fork was super easy since I've spent lots of time on this same damper in the Lyric. There's enough adjustments to be able to dial in the fork without creating confusion. The recommended air pressure was pretty spot on, and I only made a very small adjustment to get it feeling perfectly how I wanted. All right, you're probably sifting through the couch cushions, finding pennies to order a Zeb, but before you start clicking buttons, let's chat more about who the Zeb is suited for. All right, for me personally, when given the choice between the Lyric and Zeb, taking my style of riding into account, I will choose the Zeb. Out here in the Pacific Northwest, we have steep, rough, and gnarly descents, and I typically always have a bike with 160 millimeters or more in the fork up front. But not everyone is me. In fact, only I am me. Well, hopefully, unless someone has my social security number. But first, figure out which travel fork you'd like on your bike. You can run the Lyric at 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, or 180 millimeters. You can run the Zed at 150, 160, 170, 180, or holy crap, 190 millimeters. Good job, RockShox, that's freaking cool. The sweet spot for the Lyric is 150 or 160 millimeters of travel, and the sweet spot for the Zeb is 170, 180, or 190 millimeters of travel. So if you are running a 150 or 160 fork up front, the Lyric is probably a better fork for you. 
The Lyric is about 200 grams lighter, less stiff, and beef more forgiving on your hands. However, if you are a larger or super aggressive rider, then the Zeb's increased stiffness would make it the better fork for you in that situation. Now, if you're running 170 or 180 millimeters up front, the Zeb is hands down going to be a better fork for you. With longer travel comes more leverage tugging on that fork, and the increased stiffness of the Zeb is much more pronounced and beneficial to keeping your bike stable. And if you're wanting 190 millimeters of fork travel up front, then the Zeb is your only option. Long story short, if you have a Lyric and want a stiffer fork, then the Zeb is your answer. There will be four different models of the Zeb to fit your budget and desires. The Zeb Ultimate is the top tier fork with all of the best features and available in that cool slab gray or gloss black paint and sells for $999, which is cheaper than the other really fork options on the market. Then there's the Zeb Select, which has the less adjustable Charger RC damper. This is only available in gloss black and saves you a bit of cash selling for $799. That fork only has adjustable low speed compression and rebound. Now, both of these forks are available for 27.5 inch wheels with either the standard 44 millimeter or the short 38 millimeter offset for the smaller wheels and of course 29 inch wheels with only the shorter 44 millimeter offset no 51 millimeter offset option with the zeb which we're actually pretty excited about because we always recommend going with the shorter 44 millimeter offset if you got the bigger wheels and then for you e-bike folk out there, there's the Zeb R with the Charger 2 damper, which does not have adjustable compression and sells for 699 bucks. And then there's the Zeb R dual position with 150 to 180 millimeter travel adjust switch, which sells for $799. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Well, there you have it. That's the rundown on the all new RockShox Zeb. Now, what do you guys think about the Zeb? Would you ride it or is there a different fork that you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear what fork you'd like on the front of your bike. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you really like us, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so that you don't miss out on our future videos about forks and plants and trees and riding bikes. Now, if you are wanting to put one of these thick boy forks up on the front of your mountain bicycle, click this link right up here, head over to the RockShox Zeb product page on our website, order one of these bad boys up, free shipping in the USA. And if you guys have any questions about compatibility or things like that, give us a call at the shop, 360-306-8827, or click, 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 click on your keyboard, send us an email to info at thelostco.com. We'll be happy to help you. We look forward to shipping out a fork and answering any questions. Until next time, happy trails. Let's go ride bikes.